Hi everybody, welcome to our third day of realizing that all three of the Trinity are in us and exploring what that means for us in our everyday life and the things that we do. Let's just look at a little bit of this. First of all, Jesus is grace personified. He is grace in person. Jesus is full of grace and truth, John writes in the first chapter of John. He goes on to say, and the word, Jesus, became flesh and dwelt in us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. And of his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. The law was given through Moses, but grace and truth came to us through Jesus Christ. In Titus 2.11, Paul wrote this, the grace of God has appeared. Now, doctrines don't appear. Prayers don't appear. People appear. The grace of God, Jesus, has appeared, bringing salvation for all people. That's a pretty plain verse. John 14, 9. Jesus says, hey, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Now, Jesus came in his words so that we could experience life right now. Not just a ticket to heaven and a sweet by and by, but right now, abundant life, life to the full. The Greek word is zoe, which means the state of one who is possessed of vitality or is, who is animate, who is real and genuine, a life active and vigorous. Jesus said in John 10, 10, I come so that you might have life to the full, abundant life. And he said in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. 2 Corinthians 13 and 14, Paul closed his uh, letter to the Corinthians with this, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Jesus is grace. God is love. The Holy Spirit, the Trinity, is fellowship and community with us and everyone. A couple of weeks ago, I taught to you a thing I'm putting together and some of you have helped me with it and given me some ideas and I'm continually updating it, but it goes like this. Grace is God's unconditional love and pure goodness, perpetually in action, working all things for the good, divine influence, to help everyone know and enjoy and experience abundant life by relating to us personally, energizing and empowering us to be all that God created us to be, energizing and empowering us to do all that God created us to do, continually showing us that God is pure goodness, continually showing us that God is totally for us, continually showing us that God has forgiven, accepted, and included us in their relationship, revealing to us what God wants us to say and do in every situation, communicating with us how they see us and everyone, reminding us that we are one with the Father, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit and everyone, reminding us that they are working every situation for the good of us and everyone, and producing effortless change in us as we dwell in seamless union with the Trinity. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Now, we have an enemy, of course, who doesn't want us to know and remember all of this. And because we tend to forget, we want to continually remind ourselves of these things and remind each other of the truths that are ours. So I encourage you to regularly meet together with other people, even if it's online. Not that there's anything wrong with online, but some of us don't have a group of people in our hometown that we can get together with. Continually get together with other people to remind each other, encourage each other, comfort each other, and share these things that God is revealing to you. I wanna ask you again, spend some time in prayer just saying, Holy Spirit of Christ in me, reveal to me what does it mean for me today and every day in my relationships, in my work, in my play, in my parenting, in my marriage, in everything I do? What does it mean that you, all three of you, the Holy Spirit, all three of you are in me? And then listen. See what the Holy Spirit says to you. See you tomorrow, everybody. Thanks a lot.